time. It ticks at the same rate everywhere, right? But that's not always true. Time can speed up, it can slow down, and even stop completely. To know why this baffling idea is true, have a look at this thought experiment first. Imagine Sal drifting along with a spaceship in space far from any heavenly body. So he is now floating freely. Then the rockets fire up and the ship accelerates upwards. A moment later, he hits the ground and he stands upright. To him, it feels a lot like back on Earth. So to test that theory, he holds out an apple and lets it go. It simply drops to the floor. So Sal now doubts whether he really is in an accelerating rocket or if he's standing right on Earth. So basically, this simple experiment proved us that one cannot tell the difference between acceleration and gravity. And this is called the principle of equivalence. Now here's one last experiment which will help us understand everything. But before we look at this experiment, here's something important. The speeds and accelerations that are considered in this experiment are so small indeed that the effects of special theory of relativity can be neglected. Now back to the good stuff. Imagine a rocket ship so long that it takes light one second to travel from one end to the other. Let this distance be d. Now Sal and I both have identical watches which tick every second. Then Sal goes to the top while I go down to the bottom. Once Sal reaches the top, he takes out his flashlight and sends a light signal every time his clock ticks. Since the rocket isn't moving right now, the distance between us is d. So I down there will receive those signals coming to me all a second apart. But if the rocket is accelerating, the situation changes. During the instant the light pulse is sent, the distance between Sal and me is still d. But as the light moves towards me at a constant speed, I am being accelerated by the rocket towards it. So now the distance that light has to travel is less than d. So the time it's going to take to reach me is now less than a second. Now this happens for all the later pulses because the rocket has been accelerating all this time. If I'd send signals to Sal, they try to reach him but since he's accelerating away from the signal, light has to travel a distance more than d so it'll take more than one second to reach him. Simple right? But all this isn't surprising. So what if the rocket is sitting right on earth? Isn't this situation exactly the same as before? Because we had found out that gravity and acceleration are the same. This means that even though the distance between us is still d, the light pulses take less than one second to reach me. This will make me feel that Sal's clock is running faster. But we had checked that our clocks were running at the same speed. Does that mean that the speed of light has increased? No, the special theory of relativity doesn't allow that. So if the distance isn't changing, our clocks are running properly and the speed of light hasn't changed. The only reasonable explanation for such a result is that time is flowing faster near Sal. This would explain why his clock's ticking faster. So the higher you are in a gravitational field, the faster time flows for you. Which means that the lower you are in a gravitational field, the slower time flows. So now, if I'd send light pulses to Sal, they would reach him in more than one second. So to him, it'll look like time has slowed down near me. It's exactly what would happen if the rocket were accelerating in space, right? But the effect of Earth's gravity on time isn't much. But say, near a black hole, you can literally go to the future. And this was exactly shown in the movie Interstellar. Four astronauts were in a spaceship which is at a safe distance from a black hole. Now three of them decided that they'd uh, visit a planet which was a lot closer to the black hole, while one stayed back. Now when they returned after four hours, they saw that the man who had stayed back had aged by 23 years. Now that's a staggering amount. And these values are all real mathematical calculations. But right now we know why all this happened. And this effect is known as gravitational time dilation. The thing with nature is that its tricks and secrets are so mind-boggling and the way they can be exploited are so many, it's just fascinating, you know? And uh, I can't wait for the future, you know, what's coming up. But I must say, it's really a beautiful world to live in. And I'd like to end my video right here. Thanks for watching.